brothers and sisters, another thing that can make you indestructible is God can set your enemies against themselves. Christians are actually indestructible because God can set their enemies against themselves. It was the Israelites in the book of 2 Chronicles 20 that were up against a formidable team, army. They didn't stand a chance against the army. However, God assured them through a prophet that he was going to defeat the enemy. All they needed to do was to look at the enemy, to just stand in their position and see what God was going to do. God wants you to stand in your position in the position of prayer and thanksgiving and worship and see how God destroys your enemy. When the Israelites stood in their position, worshiping and thanking God, and that's what we need to do, worshiping and thanking God. God did for them what they couldn't have done for themselves. God himself took into his hand the battle against them. And before they knew it, the enemies were on each other's throat. God, if we stand, in our place, worshiping Him and thanking Him. Instead of exchanging words with our enemies, we will see to it that our enemies find themselves fighting against each other. The demons and the devil. And people who have given their lives to the devil. And the devil hopes to destroy you children will end up fighting themselves if you believe and stand in your place. All we need, therefore, is for us to stand in our place. And our place is to thank God for all the things He has done for us. Worship Him for whom He is. Even as we praise Him for Jesus Christ. As we do that, God delivers us from our trouble. Once upon a time, He delivered Paul and Silas when they resulted, they, they turned to praising and worship. He can do that for you. May we in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Count on God, worshiping Him, even as we see Him destroy our enemies, making us indestructible. We don't need to be afraid of anybody. Let's just stand in our place, worshiping and thanking God and praising Him, and see if our problems do not vanish right in front of us. Father God Almighty, we thank You so much that You have taught us to stand in our place. And when we stand in our place worshiping and thanking you, you God Almighty, destroy whatever formidable force right ahead of us. We thank you, God Almighty. You're going to do it not only once, but you're going to do it over and over. Like you promised us in the book of Job 5, 19, where you said you keep delivering us over and over, so that no evil can have power over us, leaving us indestructible. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Amen.